So in this example, we have an indoor skating rink. Uh, children positioning themselves on blue lines, and each child has a parent behind them, uh, preparing to push the child to see who can push the child the farthest. So the mother, in this case, has a mass of 61 kg. Daughter has a mass of 19. Uh, both skaters experience negligible friction. Uh, so basically, the friction between the skate and the ice is almost zero. We'll assume that it is for the purposes of this. Uh, at the starting bell, the mother pushes the child with a constant applied force of 56 newtons for 0 0.83 seconds. Determine the magnitude of the daughter's acceleration. Well, we know the mass of the daughter oops, is 19 kgs. We know the force that is applied to the daughter, and it actually is the net force as well because we have no friction. It's 56 newtons. And we want to know her acceleration. We have that F equals MA. F is 56. M is 19. When we divide this out, we'll need two sig figs. So the acceleration of the daughter will be 2.9 meters per second squared. Question B actually pulls in some of Newton's third law. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. The action in this case is the mother pushing the daughter. And the reaction is actually two pieces. One, the daughter will move forward. And two, because the mother is also on skates and experiences negligible friction, the mother will also move backwards. So in B, the net force that the mother experiences is the 56 newtons that she pushes with. The mother's mass, 61 kgs, and her acceleration we don't know. Using F equals MA again, substituting in 56 and 61, Again, we divide this out, we need two sig figs. The mother's acceleration is 0 0.92 meters per second squared. Question C, the maximum velocity of the daughter. So the daughter starts from rest, obviously, and she accelerates until the mother lets go or can't push any longer. This relies back on some kinematics equations. We need to read a little bit into the question. Uh, the maximum velocity, we're actually asking for the final velocity. Since the daughter begins from rest, her initial velocity will be zero. Since we're talking about the daughter, we can use her acceleration at 2.9 meters per second squared. And we also know the amount of time that the mother was pushing at 0.83 seconds. Looking at those variables, we have one equation that is really good to use. Vf equal Vi plus A delta T. Vf we don't know. Vi is 0. A is 2.9 and T is 0.83. Working that out, again, we need two sig figs. The daughter's maximum velocity would be 2.4 meters per second.